Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Culinary Composition with me, your host, Chef JC, and my sous chef, Xander, who's looking for any remnants that might have fallen on the ground. <laughs> okay, tonight we're going to do something that I'm really happy about. I came up with this idea to dress up a regular chicken leg, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that wonderful compound butter that I had made a while back, which was compound, uh, the compound butter consisted of uh, garlic and chive. And we're going to stuff a chicken leg with that and some blue cheese mashed potatoes that I had left over. Okay, then we're going to take them, brown them off, and then we're going to let them cool. And we're going to wrap them in bacon and bake them in the oven. That's going to be phenomenal. All right, I'm going to need to put the camera down so you can see how I do this. Now, what I'm going to do, hold up my knife here. I'm going to take a chicken leg, right? Okay. I'm going to cut right as close to the bone as I can. Okay, now I went to one side, now I'm going to go to the other side. Okay, so what I want to do is create almost like a zigzag pattern, but what my ultimate goal is, is to get it open so that I can see the bone. So that I know when I'm stuffing something in there, it's getting on both sides of the chicken, not just one. Alright, now I want you to see the cavity that I just created. The chicken all over the camera. Oh well. There you go, you see how that looks? That's exactly the consistency that we're looking for in doing this. Okay, then... Put this down one more time. I'm going to cut some of our wonderful compound butter. Nice piece like that. Break it up. I'm going to place it right into the cavity that I just created in this chicken leg. Okay. You don't have to be perfect on this. All you want to do basically is get it down to both sides so you know that the flavor of the garlic and the chive incorporate themselves into the actual uh, leg itself. Alright. Now... This is not a clean way to do it, but I'm doing it this way because it's easier for me. I'm going to just dip my hands into the mashed potato. I'm going to take the mashed potato and I'm going to push it right down into that cavity as well. Okay. I'm just trying to get it down inside. It's going to move around on you. It's going to fight you. But you can do this. I know you can. Xander, you got to wait till I cook it in order to eat it, buddy. It's raw right now. It's not going to help you at all. Okay, that's basically as close as we're going to get. Let me wash my hand off. <clears throat> now, next thing I want to do is run my finger across it and make sure that there's none sticking out as much as I can, okay? Then what we're going to do, let me grab the camera here, is we're going to take this and we're going to dip it right into some seasoned flour that I put together with blackened seasoning as well for good color. Uh, you got adobo in here, you've got garlic powder, paprika, black pepper, it's going to be beautiful. All right. Now, I've made several of these off camera because I didn't think you wanted to see me make all of this <laughs> in one shot. All right. Okay, the chicken legs are put together. I'm going to heat up a nice hot skillet. I'm going to come back. I'm going to sear off that mashed potato and uh, compound butter filling, and we'll show it to you what it looks like when we come back. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Culinary Composition with me, your host, Chef JC, and my very hungry sous chef, Xander.